Hi, it's Ian, and welcome back to my 30 Days of Knife Skills. This is the penultimate video, day 29, and I'm working with bell peppers. So there's a few different ways people approach uh, doing bell peppers. I think that maybe one of the most common ways is people will cut it in half and then pull out the, the seeds. Um, this top part and the seeds like that. So that's something that I don't usually do. Uh, another thing I don't usually do that much, but um, I learned it from watching Martin Yan on TV. He would always take the top off, take the bottom off in a very quick and flashy way. And, end up with one piece and just the, the center core. So, um, it can be a good way because now you're left with usually not that much of this, this uh, rib stuff, the white stuff inside. And then from here you can decide what you want to do with it. So if you want to chop it up, then you can do start doing this and then chop into pieces like this, like a stir fry, that would be perfect. Or maybe you want to do a lengthwise cut like this, or maybe you want to do this kind of cut. Um, it's one of these cuts that I don't usually do is this one. Usually if I cut in a long kind of a Julian shape, then I will go in the lengthwise position. So it is nice to have that one sheet that you can decide what to do with. But the reason I don't do that is because it's, then you have to deal with this separately and then you have to deal with this separately. So the, the first stage is fast, but then um, since I'm not going to waste these pieces, it's, it's uh, something separately that I'll have to deal with. And then, of course, if you're going for this kind of long shape, then these do not match that. So that's one main reason why I don't use that method so much anymore. Another way that uh, I've done quite a bit is to either lay it down or stand it up and just start cutting this way and then cut this way. So now you don't have a perfectly straight piece, but you also don't have those tiny weird bits. So from here you could separate this and um, depends on if if this was too long, this orange pepper is kind of on the long side, so this this long kind of julienne slice might be too long, so uh, I might go in half and do that kind of a cut. Uh, you could do the same thing with this and you'll get it similar, similar shape, similar size. Of course, you do the same thing with the regular cut to match this one. Of course, we could take this sort of long, elongated, and continue on and go kind of a dice. I might do that for. Uh, some kind of a sauce, or maybe the base of a chili, or things like that, where I'm trying to match perhaps onions and celery and carrots that I've caught, cut similarly, I would do that. Um, I've seen another way where people will sort of go around like this, cut down, but sort of in a way that you would for peeling Peeling uh, an orange peel. 
so that in one in one motion you're you're getting a similar shape that what I just earlier did except you're also taking off that white kind of uh, membrane area too so um, it's similar it's a bit of a, a variation and you're you're taking off smaller pieces so it's going to be the, f the, the first way I did it you might end up with a little bit bigger pieces this way but then you'll end up with a little bit of that way you'll end up with a little bit of this so if that if that bothers you then you could either pull it out with your hand or cut it off like this or if you want to take that off in one kind of motion then you, you could do it that way where you go around so you're just going around starting up here and kind of following the curve like this so that's that's the mentality that's the idea for that kind of uh, cut um, I usually don't do that I just grab it and just start cutting either this way or this way one of those ways and then pretty much go into one of these it's either going to be uh, these chunks for stir fry or something that's going to cook a little bit longer julienne for a little bit uh, less of a cook time maybe um, it could be a raw thing I might cut it a little bit smaller if I was going to eat this raw um, so and then maybe a small dice for raw preparations or something that won't cook quite as long that might be one way to do that um, sometimes if I'm trying to get a, a slice I'll take this and do the bias cut which I do on a lot of things so this might have been too long to go this way it would have been too short to go this way if I cut this in half first it would still have been too short so maybe to find the medium I would take a piece like this and go on a bias and if I found a little bit wider piece like this then I would go on not quite of much of a bias but a little bit less bias see if I could match the lengths so that even if you have different size pieces you can match that by changing the angle so that's a useful thing that I do quite a bit as well so one last thing would be uh, very commonly I would just toss this whole thing on the grill just like this and get it all black uh, let it sit for a minute if you cover it it'll make it even easier for the for the skin to to come off the, the blackened skin and then you have uh, delicious uh, roasted peppers so that's something I do quite often if I'm grilling I'll, I'll uh, just throw them on there with nothing with no processing or no ingredients just toss it on until it's black on one side keep turning it and if you have the time um, to put it in a bowl or in a, on a plate and cover it let it sweat a little bit and then you can take it all off and all the seeds will come off and, and uh, that's a great thing to have for dinner or for later on you could put it in the fridge and have it for other other applications later on it's it's a great thing so that is bell peppers we have one more video left let me know if you have any questions and i'll see you on the next one which will be the last one